Hello, on logistics specialist first class, Carlton Cross. Behind me is the USS Carl Vinson, America's favorite carrier, and the flagship of Carrier Strike Group One, currently home ported in San Diego, California. The Vinson is a Nimitz class nuclear aircraft carrier measuring in at 1,092 feet and weighing in at 97,000 tons. From the keel to the mast, the Vinson is 244 feet tall. That's equivalent to a 24 story building. Commissioned in March of 1982, the Vinson is the third oldest active carrier in the Navy, known as Floating Cities, for their ability to carry approximately 5,000 sailors at a time. Our city has its own barbershop, satellite TV, gyms, post office, coffee shops, and airport. The Vinson is powered by two nuclear reactors and can achieve speeds of over 30 knots. As we tour the ship today, you'll see sailors wearing masks. This is in accordance with the Navy and CDC guidelines to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Also, you may notice some maintenance as we tour the ship that's coming on any ship. It's because just as you perform regular maintenance on your car or you spruce up your house, this is our home. We take every opportunity we can to keep our home in tip-top shape. Now let's take a look inside. Our first stop will be the museum. This museum honors the ship's namesake, Congressman Carl Vincent of Georgia. He served as a member of the House of Representatives for 50 years and was the chairman of the House of Naval Affairs and Armed Service Committee for 29 years. Vincent was the principal sponsor of the Vincent and Walsh Act of 1940, which increased the size of the Navy by 70% and earned him the moniker Father of the Two Ocean Navy. Next, let's check out the hangar bay. There are three hangar bays aboard the Carl Vinson and four aircraft elevators which are capable of lifting aircrafts up to the flight deck. The hangar bay consists of two internal and four external blast doors which separate into three distinct sections. These doors are closed during emergency scenarios to help isolate casualties and to prevent further damage to the ship or personnel. Now that you know a little bit about the hangar bay, let's take a look at the Vinson's flight deck. Welcome to the Vincent's flight deck, where all the action happens. The flight deck is our runway and so much more. It has a surface area of four and a half acres, which translates to around three football fields. There are four steam powered catapults used to launch fixed wing aircrafts, two on the bow and two on the waist. When landing, the aircraft touch down aft of the superstructure and rapidly stop using tail hooks to catch one of the four arresting gear cables in the landing area. The Vinson is capable of launching and recovering the aircraft at the same time and capable of launching two fixed wing aircrafts and one helicopter almost simultaneously. From the flight deck, we can also see the island, which contains many spaces, including the bridge, which is our next stop. We are here now on the second highest level of the ship in a room called the bridge. When at sea, the bridge is one of the epicenters of activities and a point from which we drive the ship. Here is the driver's seat, where the helmsman takes orders from the captain or qualified watch tenant to steer the ship. Next to the helm is the lee helmsman, controls how fast or how slow the ship goes. This was the last stop on our tour. We want to thank you for joining us on our virtual tour of America's favorite carrier. We also want you to know that we're proud to serve our country and thank you for your continued support of our Navy.